Welcome back to the rig review and today we're going to take a look at the Chic Rig, which you can find on Gumroad. This is Chic with the Overwatch edition. All information is there. I'll have a link as well on my animation buffet site, which has all kinds of rigs and reviews posted on there. Speaking of reviews, you can find them all also on my YouTube channel. And while you're there, feel free to browse right on my channel. I post more than just rig reviews. And if you like it, you can hit subscribe and that bell button so you don't miss any of my uploads. All right, back in Maya, this is the rig. But before we're going to take a look at all the controllers, you need to check out the documentation that is in the folder when you download the rig. There is a character intro. There's also help here as you install it with some scripts and some shading, potential texture issues. I am opening this in Maya 19 and not 20 because I had some problems with the textures and this is probably my fault, but 2020 can be a bit finicky. So for now, this review is in 19. Going back, there's a second document that talks about license terms and conditions and the proper credits for the rig. So make sure you check all that out and that you are aware of all of that. All right, first of all, on the channels here, you have a control layer. You also have extra layers for the harp here. And you can see that, let me zoom in here, that is also all controlled by the layers there, just in case. There is a mask, you can turn that mask on off through here and there is a mesh layer. So just so that you know that is there on the right side. As always, let's go with the main controls to see if there are any options there. So you have the local and align. This is for the IK manipulators and the foot manipulators, base pose and align. You can see the difference here when you do this. So that is there right off the bat. You can scale the character, whoa, very fast. It's also a very light rig. And of course you have the inner controller where you can bring things down as always in case you want a different pivot. And when you go one more, you can see here the chic root control. Let's go to the feet. Going to the foot here, we can select this and you can see with the arrows here, this is your control to do everything crazy with the feet. Ah! But you can do all your foot rolls like this. You can do your banking. I'm a big fan of just that one centralized control that does that. You have the roll weight here option, soft distance. You have the stretch. So if you actually grab this controller to pull the leg, here you have the stretch function. There is a PV lock, which is the knee. Let's go back here. So PV lock will be that. And that is on here. You have a slide and a twist and IK to FK option as well. And just going back here on the knee as well, IK to FK. You have snap to hip, snap to heel, and the stretch option is there as well. And you can move this around. So if you go back up here and I move the foot around, it does move the knee just in case you want more control. Obviously, you have that here as well. And let's just go back here, IK to FK. You turn this on, you see that will give you FK control. And of course, FK control here and FK on the foot. And you want to go back any of these controllers when you select them they have the ik to fk option so you don't get lost there going back to this one you have a slide option here this is to move just the position of the knee around here you have a twist option just in case you don't want to do this on here ik to fk snap to hip and again the alignment is different here if you want to move this around you use this controller that moves the foot around you can still rotate the foot using this for the inner special controls, but you don't use this controller to move the foot around. Of course, this is left and right, the same thing. As you looked at all those controllers, I mean, there is stuff like soft distance, so fixes for pops and things, but I don't see any bend bows. There's nothing hidden, but you do have a roll weight option. So as you do your foot roll like this, you can see that it gives you a soft, roll of the toes but you turn this on it will harden it and you can see the change in the foot like this and that is that for the legs so then let's go back up and let's actually hide these just for now and look at this this is your spine main controller and again it's very light as you can move this around you have a switch to an fk spine and a reverse fk spine so let's turn this off here you can see how the options change back there. So if you go here, you can select these, of course, separately. And it does all of that. It gives you an option to do this with the hips. And if you go back, you are now selecting it like that. And it does this, but you can also translate like that. 
So an IK spine, an FK spine with controls behind the back, an FK reverse spine with also the controls on the back. If you go all the way down here, that will be your hip control. See a little deformation in the chest there, so watch out for that. Continuing going up here, you can see as you do this, you got your controls here for shoulders. You can rotate them like this, but you can also translate, obviously on both sides. You have here IK arm. You have the same channel options here. Soft distance to help with the pop. You got stretch. This is, of course, as you pull and you stretch. You have the PV lock. There's a slide, twist, IK to FK, snap to main, snap to hip, and snap to torso. But quickly, let's go to the FK. So you see the change here, as always. Changes that. There's no lock on arms, so you can break and rotate in all directions here. And this is your wrist movement and on all of these you can go back to your IK control. Looking at the fingers here you have a little thing here that gives you a translate so you have the overall you can see the bounding box here the overall option for fingers for quick posing spreading and together up and down. I'm a big fan of that I like that option there. Of course this gives you also here IK to FK option and here you have your separate finger controls so the small ones give you rotations like this the big control that gives you an overall rotation on the fingers. And you have the base control here for more options. It's a very clean setup, really like this. Now going up here, might as well go here. Here you have the hair, so you can move this around in this fashion. There is a stretchy option on off. This goes all the way up to the base where you can move this snap to main, snap to torso, and this is all rotational as well streamline going back here you have the hoodie you can bring this up or down you have multiple controls here on the side out and out like that and you have more when it comes to hair you can see all the control is here so you can move this all around tip so every single piece here you can move that hair around here take all of that away so we can see the face now you have a controller down here. That's for the lower neck. Again, stretch FK spine and reverse FK spine. And the upper box is the top of the head, the pivot there. Now, as you move the head around, you can see that it takes the hoodie with it. There's a local global option. There's a stretch FK spine, reverse FK spine, and also detail. This is all for the facial structure and the hair. You can see how it changes here. Low, nothing, mid, and high with more options. So you can see that little detail here, just in case you want to animate that. And I select these controllers here, hood, main, shoulder, turn that off. So now when you select the head, you can see that it doesn't follow. So if you have the hoodie on, it might be nice to have some follow options there. But again, you can turn all of this off here. So when I do snap the head, everything is off. And I then select the head, you can see that the hoodie is not affected. Looking at the head here, we have the jaw control rah, opening here. Let's close that a little bit. The bigger control here is for the lower lip, the whole section here in the upper lip. But if you want to go into detail, you have these here. You can select all of that separately. You have the corner control, of course. Selecting this, you have the cheeks. To the nose, you have nostrils like this. You have an overall move of the tip here. And of course, the other side as well. You have an overall nose mover here. You can also, you can rotate if you want. And if you go up here, you're only getting into the overall brow. You have a separate brow here. Watch out, there's a bit of an overlapping control here. This is for the brow here and the outside. But when you select this, that's the same as these arrows. You rotate. So you can move this around. You see a little bit of a follow on the lids here. And on the channels, you see here you have blink option, pupil scale, and iris scale. Now, if you want to go inside here for more detail, you can see how you can move all of this around for reshaping and details. And of course, that is on both sides. Now, moving out here, if you go out this way, you can select this and you can see that is for the eyes. Moves the eyes, you got local and global. You also have separate controllers here, which give you iris scale as well, pupil scale and the blink as well here. And if we go here and you see past the hair, don't forget you also have ear controllers for the main thing 
and the separate part and the additional extension there. You can see it here as well. Move the hair around. And of course, same thing on the left side, the bigger ear and the tip as well. Going around here, let's turn these guys back on here. So you have these guys. Let's take one and two out. So you have different options where you can attach these hips and hands and just the character. It comes with one controller here. You can move this around and that is that. You can go in here and you see the harp. Take this out. That has a lot of options here too. So you can see there's an option to match base on off. You can rotate it here. You can't scale. You have a controller here to rotate just this. You can move this around. You can see in here all the controllers, including separate rings here to move just that. So you can extend this super cool. And as you do so, you have the controllers here to move all of this around. You can take it off and you can move this around. There's a stretch on off option on this as well. Oh, actually stretch on off on this as well. Top control is here. That is to rotate this. It's very cool. Love the concept, love the design. Really nicely set up. very easy to pose out really nice laid out controls and again it's a very fast rig to move around and if you have any rigs that you want me to look at post on my animation bv site or review on my channel feel free to email me and if you feel like this review was helpful and you want to see more feel free to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell button so you don't miss any of those uploads and that is it from me and i will see you in my next upload